three, two, one. Here is a model of 50 meter by 40 meter. Here I have created shear wall using four loaded plate cursor. So if you click the plate cursor, all the plates will be selected. But what we have to do here, we have to create the shear wall using surface cursor. Sorry, this is surface cursor. So first of all, I have to delete. I have to delete this. So I am using four loaded plate cursor and select all the plates and I am going to delete. Okay. Now I have to draw the shear wall uh, using surface cursor. So first of all, I will select the ground floor and go to new view. First of all, I have uh, I have to remove the supports because if I will translational repeat it, the support will come upward. So that's why I have to remove the remove the support first. So, okay. Now position of shear wall. This is the position of shear wall. I have to draw it. So I will select surface cursor. So I am drawing surface first, second, third and fourth. These four wall, <coughs> these four wall required here also. Look at the plan. These four walls are required here also, so I will translation repeat it into the x direction, and the distance is fifty meters. Only one. So it came here. Now I have to draw the same wall in this side. So add surface. This is first. Second, third, and fourth, and the and the position of the same wall is here also. One, one, two, three, four. So rather than drawing, I am <coughs> translational repeating it. So please select the surface, translational repeat. Where we are going, we are going x direction, and what is the distance? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8, 5, 8, 40. So, 40 in x direction. So, here becomes your wall. Now, I have to make it for g plus 10. So, story your uh, global direction will be y direction, vertical, and the floor height is 3 meter and story is 11. Okay, so if you go to View, you can see it. Uh, all the shear walls have been drawn. Now you can assign the support. So go to general and support here. Create support. Fix add. Now select node cursor. Select all. Uh, first of all, select support two, and using node cursor, select all the bottom nodes and assign to selected nodes and assign so all the supports are being assigned now we have to create the panel for each wall now what is the procedure to draw the panel it is very simple go to design click shear wall when you click the shear wall how much surfaces are there will be represented in this box okay so first of all i click surface number one and I am going to click on create panel. Now click here, make a box like this and select as wall. Okay. When it will convert it into wall, creating the panel will be shown by a green color box. Now again, second. For, uh, so you can see here surface one has been created into the panel and panel is nothing but the wall. Now surface number two, create panel. Again, draw the box clicking on four endpoints and it becomes green again go to shear wall number two then shear wall number three create panel again draw the box 
so similarly we have whichever wall uh, whichever wall you are converting into the panel it becomes green see there are three green panels surface number one two and three one two and three if you are going to create the panels for all wall all wall will be shown in green color so similarly one by one you have to create the panel for all the walls i have created the three similarly i will create it for the surface uh, i will create for the surface number four wall okay now again go to shear wall and click on surface number five so you have to do it for all the walls if you are thinking that uh, after drawing the wall in the ground floor if i will translation repeat it so the property will carry forward no you have to draw the panel for each and every wall so it is quite less time consuming but will be enough for designing the shear wall as uh, all the loads has been assigned here properties has been assigned here so you just have to create the panels and go to run analysis and after the analysis you have to go to post processing and you have to select the four uh, six columns that we are using for our project you will be you will be going to new view so in the plan i will select first second third sorry first second third fourth fifth and here six so you can see here go to new view and okay and post processing will show all the results the results means area of steel we don't require area of steel and in post processing you will get the section force torsional force axial force whatever uh, like in this uh, no, sorry it was a different file so after analysis you will be going to post processing and all the results will be shown here so do the same thing 